guys welcome back so today i have a video for you guys 18 goals for 2018 i think this might be a tag video i'm not sure who created it but i'm gonna give all credit to them but i saw someone make a video of this and i just thought it was a great idea to do especially since it's a fresh year fresh start um and i feel like resolutions don't really work out just having one big goal so having 18 goals for this year i think is a better way to kind of have mini goals throughout the entire year instead of just one big focus because I feel like those don't really happen and working towards smaller goals usually happen more I don't know but let's just get right into it so my first goal for this year is to go out more and I feel like that started to happen at the end of last year um, I got more comfortable with actually just going out somewhere and not being lazy but I feel like it's kind of coming back to me so I definitely want to start going out more and saying yes to people to hang out because I feel like I automatically say no because I'm always feeling down or something and then I just end up staying in bed doing nothing making a whole day go by to waste so I definitely want to hang out more I definitely want to go out more and I want to start saying yes a lot more um, and just engaging with other people because I think I need that in my life and not just sitting here doing nothing my next goal is to film a video or post a video at least once a week. If I can film at least once on the weekend, I think that would really help me like have an actual schedule for this channel and to also get more inspired to do more videos because I'm consistently doing them. And I don't know, I think it would just be better instead of me posting a vlog here and there and then a month later posting another random video so I think uploading at least once a week will kind of have my creative juices flowing my next one is something that I have like every year this is always like my main resolution or goal is to save money and my logic right now in order for me to do that is I used to pay rent and I'm thinking now if I used to pay rent that money that I used to pay, I could just end up saving that every week or every month, however much I was using a week for rent. So if I can save that money that I was originally using for that, why can't I do that now? Even if it's $50, even though I could save way more than that, but I don't know, I just need to save at least something just to get on my feet and have a backup for stuff instead of just knowing that it's in my bank account and I can easily access it because I have a separate bank account for my savings so if I put it in there I would have to wait like three business days to get the money so at least I know okay I can't really touch it that easily when I want to buy something and waste my money on unnecessary stuff so definitely saving money I really need to do that the next also comes with saving money and that's to start apartment hunting not move out just yet but hopefully by the end of this year in december i can have my head clear of where exactly like what areas i want to move to how much money i saved and know exactly like my move in time that will work for me and work for what i'm doing at the moment um so yeah i'm currently doing that right now today I actually started but i know it's going to take some time knowing what areas i like what areas are safe what's closer to transportation, stuff like that. But it's no rush right now. Hopefully I'll have everything set for the end of this year and then maybe by next year, I'll be moving out. My next goal is to network, very big one. Um, not only to make relationships and like friendships with people, but I definitely wanna network with other people that are also doing something creative like this, whether it's making music, whether it's drawing, whether it's taking photos, or even if they film videos also, or do any kind of filming, because I don't only want to just film videos, like I also want to make other kind of like film and stuff, but I definitely want to network because I feel like not only will it help me out, but it'll also help the other person out, and I like when people can work together to make their stuff and creative juices flowing and their art happen. I don't know, I just like that. And it makes you both feel really great at the outcome of both of your projects so you can always help each other down the road so definitely networking i want to be able to network with a lot of people this year and hopefully i get the chance to do that my next one is confidence and it's not only confidence as in like how i look or whatever it's confidence in what i'm doing and confidence to myself 
um, having confidence in what I'm doing as far as whether it's this YouTube thing or things that I want to post on my Instagram or something or any kind of confidence that I have towards the work that I'm doing or things that I love because I feel like I put myself down a lot when I'm doing things that I really enjoy and I automatically start thinking but what if people don't like this but it doesn't matter what people like so it matters what you like and I feel like I always put myself down in those areas and that's not good because then you end up coming up with nothing and you just throw away a whole opportunity to do something great by putting yourself down so I definitely want to have more confidence this year um as far as my self-confidence I think that's okay right now but definitely confidence in the stuff that I'm doing my next goal is to stop saying sorry this is just a small one but it's just I have a habit of saying sorry to people even when I don't need to say I'm sorry like if someone's in my way and I'm not in their way I still end up being the one saying sorry which I need to stop that because it's not cool it's really not cool the next is one that I know a lot of people always have all the time is to eat healthier um whereas for me I feel like I really need to because I eat way too many carbs and people at my job even know I eat a lot. Like, I'll have lunch and then I'll get like two cupcakes from Sprinkles and that's not good. That's really unhealthy. And I eat like a bag of chips and Pop-Tarts at night, almost every single night. And that's not good either. That's disgusting. The next is to make a short film or a podcast. Now, a podcast, I definitely want to do it with my family. We were talking about that recently. And I think that would just be like really awesome because we always have like super deep conversations. And I don't know, it would just be really funny to have one. I think it would be really like successful to have a podcast with them. And if not a podcast this year, then at least make a short film, five minutes or less. Just something that I've really been wanting to do for a while now. I have an idea, but that takes a lot of work. But hopefully if I can do that one, then that's cool. If I can come up with another one, that'd be great also. But definitely by the end of this year, I want to either have a podcast or a short film. The next goal is to develop my own style. Now I feel like I've started getting more comfortable in what I'm wearing, but there's days where I pick at people's like style as inspiration and they're all kind of the same to me. And it's stuff that I know I wouldn't really, like I don't really feel comfortable wearing, but I just wear it because I think it's cool. And I don't want to wear stuff like that. Like I want to wear stuff that I like myself and I feel comfortable in. So definitely by the end of this year, I want to develop a style that is me like I feel great in it and it fits me and it looks right on me so definitely that I want to start vlogging more in public that's what was my struggle during vlogtober and vlogmas was actually pulling out the camera and talking in public um even if I'm with people that I know like even that I know it's hard to film some people because I know a lot of people don't like being on a camera but even like just talking to the camera while I'm with them like even if it's my family I still get nervous to talk in front of the camera but I definitely want to start doing it more because I feel like it would add better content to my videos. So that's definitely a major goal in the YouTube world for me. The next that comes with vlogging is blogging. <laughs> but I would love to start a blog this year. I always used to create random blogs on like Blogspot when I was younger, like in eighth grade. And they were like beauty ones, but I don't know if I want to do a beauty, fashion, or like a random like current events one. but. If I do a podcast, then I won't do a current events blog, but I'll probably stick more to like beauty and fashion. I'll maybe film, I'll maybe post like favorites that I've been loving for the week or the month if I don't film a favorites video, just so you guys can like read up on it if you guys like to read. I don't know, just something to do in my free time, you know? The next would be to watch more movies and study the movies. So not only watching a movie just to watch it, but also studying like the cinematic view of it, the shots that they do in the movies, color gradings of the movies, all that kind of technical stuff when it comes to filming. Um, because I feel like that would help me. Like, of course I wanna do like classes in film, like actual classes that can teach me, but I wanna actually study different movies and watch a lot more, even like movies that people love, like big time movies that I probably have never seen. But I definitely wanna start actually studying the film not just watching it for fun and seeing if I can use that as inspiration to create something of my own. The next would be to slow down on social media. 
Now, I don't post a lot on, like, Twitter or Tumblr or anything. I usually just, like, like stuff or I retweet stuff on Twitter. But Instagram, I post, like, something in my Instagram story every day just because I'm bored. And I feel like I want to stop that because in that time that I'm posting stuff because I'm bored, I'd be doing something more productive than that. And also, I feel like Instagram is kind of like, I compare my life sometimes. And I know a lot of people do this on Instagram. That's the only bad part about it or other social media apps is that a lot of people tend to compare their life to others on Instagram. And I'm not going to lie, I do that too sometimes. And it kind of affects you in a negative way because you think your life has to be like that person's life. Even though what you see on Instagram isn't always what's really going on in someone's life. Like other things they could be going through but they're just not showing that side of them to social media so don't ever think that someone's life is better than yours or whatever that's what I need to start thinking because I tend to do that a lot I'll look at people's photos and I'm like oh I wish I was doing that or I wish I could do that or I wish I could wear that and stuff like that but in reality you can do whatever you want and just because someone else is doing it doesn't mean you can't do it And just because someone else is doing something doesn't mean you should be doing that. So I feel like I need to slow down on social media or at least just not let it overtake me sometimes like it does. But yeah, that should be a start to it. The next would be to slow down on texting. I think I did this towards the end of the year. Um, I need to apologize to people that have texted me and I didn't respond on time or I respond like weeks later or I don't respond at all. It's just I get really lazy or... I just hate texting. The only time I text is in my group chat with my cousins because it's just funny. But other than that, when it comes to regular like iMessage, I don't like texting. Like I hate it. I prefer a phone call, FaceTime, or meeting up in person. Like if we could just text saying, okay, meet me here, blah, blah, blah. There we go. We got plans and I can see you in person and talk. Like I love that. Texting is just, I can't get interested in texting. Like, I feel like I'm wasting, like, my time. Even though I'm talking to someone, that sounds so bad. But, I don't know. Texting is just, like, so, like, it's too much. It's too much for me. And I'm not really into it. Don't text. Call. Number 16 is to exercise more. And I don't exercise at all. The only exercise that I have every single day is walking to and from my train station to work <laughs> um it is quite a long walk because it's like city blocks so I guess it is some exercise but I mean at least if I could exercise like five minutes a day in the morning doing a couple sit-ups a couple planks some push-ups if I can I think that would really help me be more motivated and feel a little bit better in the morning and whatnot so definitely want to try exercising more number 17 is a big goal of mine and that's to gain 1k following either on Instagram or YouTube, one of the two. Mainly YouTube, but I know Instagram comes hand in hand with that, even though I just said I wanna slow down on Instagram, but I feel like Instagram and YouTube are kinda connected. That's where I post when I post a video, like if it's live, I'll post it on my Instagram so people can know. But I wanna at least 1K following by the end of this year. It's gonna happen, I'm gonna speak it into existence. And if you're watching this video right now and you're not subscribed to me, please click that button down below. It really helped me out quite a lot. But yeah, I definitely hope to gain 1,000 followers by the end of this year. It's going to happen. If I don't get that much, but I get some, that's fine. If I get more than 1,000, that's cool too. But it's going to happen. And number 18 is my biggest goal, not only for 2018, but in life. And this is something that I've been struggling with for a while now. And I did make a video on this before, but it's to build happiness. And I am happy and I started off this year happy. New Year's Eve, it started off a little bit annoying. And then I got happy towards the end of the night and into the next day. And I just felt super happy. I remember when I was driving home with my mom, my sister, like I just felt really happy. I don't know why. And I feel like that was a great way to start off the new year. And so far, we're four days in, and I've had about three good days out of those four. And I just want to keep continuing it, or at least seeing one good thing that will happen to me every single day. Or at least I'm going to start writing one good thing that happens to me every single week of the year. And then I'll look back on it on the last day, on New Year's Eve of this year, and kind of see all the good that has happened 
over the bad because that's what I kind of looked at last year. I know last year would have been a great year if I were able to look back on all the good things that happened, but I totally was just blindsided to that and just looked on the bad stuff that happened. And I don't think that was a great way to end the year. So that's why this year I definitely want to start looking more at the good stuff. And I think writing it down and looking back on it, it'll eliminate all the bad stuff that happens here because we're bound to have bad days no matter what. But hopefully we can lessen the amount of bad days that we have and turn them into good days. So that's a major goal for me over all these goals that I have for this year. It's a goal for life, everything. I just want to build some good happiness because everyone deserves happiness and I deserve happiness and I'm gonna get it. It's gonna happen. <laughs> so that's my 18 goals for 2018. If you guys have any goals for this year, comment down below. I'd like to know what they are. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up and also subscribe. It will help me out so much. But thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!